Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, my dudes. Merry Christmas. I'm in the Christmas mood and I'm making a video on Christmas morning. How are you doing? Because I'm vibing. Oh, by the way, this kind of cute cat merch. It's a brand my sister is starting, so stay tuned for whenever that actually becomes fruition when he, whenever she finished setting up that website. But if you like what you see, and if since we're on the topic of Christmas, if you want a Christmas gift for yourself, I'm giving away this, the G Wolf's Hati HTS Stardust Ace Edition Gaming Mouse. It's pretty cool, it's pretty awesome. And uh, if you want one for yourself, well, make sure you go and check out that video and hit that like button. Because once that video hits 30, Five likes this game will be given away to one lucky winner could be you could be your free Christmas present so make sure you go check out that video of the Stardust Hearty HDS from G Wu's. I reviewed it I'm pretty proud of that review personally I think it will be very nice if you supported that video either way but let's get into the main topic of this video this all these are things that Techware just sent me. Not all of it is for me to keep. Most of these uh, are just loan units. But they did send me this keyboard and say I get to keep it. So I guess it's a, it's a Christmas present, which ironically is one of two Christmas presents I'm getting this year. One is from my sister's boyfriend with this awesome little poster. And the other is from a actual company. So it's kind of weird. My family doesn't celebrate Christmas. So uh, that's why I don't really get Christmas presents. It's not that they hate me. It's just, it's not a thing we do. We're not Christian. But yeah, Christmas presents. It's always fun to get presents. Always fun to get gifts. So I'm going to open up all the stuff the techware sent over for Christmas. I'm going to make actual reviews about most of the things here. So if you are curious about more in-depth testing, those videos will be coming. These products, it's just, here's a little fun unboxing. So first off, the actual Christmas gift right here. This is the Techware Phantom Keyboard. So you mean by, might be like, why did, didn't you review it? Don't you have a Techware Phantom Keyboard? A, that is a Techware Phantom SE Keyboard, which is especially for Southeast Asia, uh, ASEAN, Singapore, that kind of thing. And this is the normal Phantom, so there's a bit of a difference there. And I did sell that keyboard to someone because you know, that's how I fund my videos, uh, how I continue to make videos. If I kept everything I bought for making videos, I would be broke. I'm already broke. I would be more broke. So let's talk about this keyboard. Let's open it up and let's take a little look. I'm not sure what switch they, what switch they actually sent me. Modular mechanical switches. Yeah, this one is modular. I think this is the Oshamu one. Yeah, this is not the Phantom Elite. The Phantom Elite has uh, the option of Cherry MX and like funky switches, which is kind of cool. Double shot ABS keycaps. Yeah, double shot ABS, not PBT. I'm, not, I'm, I'm more of a PBT guy, but hey, whatever, it's free. Let's open this up. Got myself a proper Swiss Army knife. We're gonna cut the tape. Okay. All right, I'm gonna open this up. It's 6 a.m. I had a very good night's sleep. I'm very energized right now, which is great. Okay, so let's just open up this box right here. Okay. Oh, opening it up. It's like a, really like a child in front of the Christmas tree. Just that this Christmas tree is full of mechanical keyboard stuff that the company sent me. And ta-da! Here we go. Here is the keyboard itself. I think they sent me one with red switches. Oh, it's, yeah, it's got red switches, which is fine. I have, I don't actually have a linear keyboard that is fully functional. I might actually use this as the daily driver, because why not? Oh, oh, all right, we'll put the keyboard to the side first. Let's take a look at the packaging accessories. In terms of accessories, you pretty much get nothing. You get this, which is useful. You got this four extra red O10 switches. I think it's Otemu. I can't exactly remember from the last time what switches they use. Yep, Otemu, red, and you've got it comes packaged in soft cell with soft cell foam, which if you watch Linus Tech Tips, you know that's a good thing because soft foam is good for shipping. So if you ship it, it'll be fine. If you ship it, they will come. All right, let's open up 
this keyboard. So it comes with this plastic little cover. You can keep this kind of plastic cover that comes in a box. It's a good way to store it. It's kind of like mini protection. But that the Techway also sent me some fancy keyboard shrouds, so I get to test that out later. And here we have the keyboard. So ta-da! Techwear Phantom. This is the non-SE version. It's quite similar to the SE, honestly. The font is different. It doesn't have a Phantom logo here, but apart from that, it's about the same. It's not like the Phantom Elite. Wait, uh, let me just... It comes with a key cap puller in the back, and it's not yellow this time. I thought the yellow one was kind of ugly on the Phantom SE. But we've got some cable routing. The cable is not detachable, unfortunately, but it is nice and braided. We've got some rubber feet, got some kick feet. They have rubber on them, that's good. Always like that, there's rubber on the bottom of the keyboard. Pretty sturdy construction, sturdy build. I mean, this little back plate here is metal. Uh, it's got the kind of a floating switch, floating keycap design style. It's not that enclosed case that you find on, say, a ducky keyboard or a custom built keyboard in general. So that's nice. And uh, let's, I'm gonna test type on it. I'm gonna test type on it, because why not? Let me just adjust it a little bit. Switches feel kind of dampened. It's almost like they put O-rings on there, but I don't know. When the the the, the I think it's got to do with the stabilizers, but the space bar and the shift keys they feel kind of dampened. Maybe the way they set up the stabilizers with these keys uh, make it so it feel kind of dampened. But I think it feels very nice in terms of smoothness. It's not scratchy. It's not as smooth as Get Around Yellows that I loop, but I think if I loop these switches a little bit with um, film, pretty it'll be, it will be pretty nice. So these are all Tamu reds, and you can swap them. They come with extras in the box, which is very considerate of them. And if you want to swap them for any other switch, I think you can only swap them for other Phantom or Tamu switches, which is you can buy Otamu Browns or Otamu Blues depending on what you want, and you can mess around and switch them out if you so desire. So that's pretty nice. Nice linear switch linear actuation and it's also RGB as well and if I'm not wrong the RGB controls and all that is going to be very similar to the Phantom SE which I reviewed in the past so you can check out that video if you want to know more in-depth information I might do a separate video on this uh, I'm not too sure but I maybe compare the two but uh, yeah Techware Phantom it's a gift from Techware so thank you very much I might use this I probably will use this I need a keyboard that's 10 keyless because the 60% keyboard's kind of a bit too small for my needs for video editing and stuff, so I've been looking at getting a bigger keyboard. Now I don't really have to. So here, let's take a look at the other accessories that they sent me. So what we have here is two Phantom Shrouds. These are keyboard shrouds that basically are like fancy covers, which is magnetic, which is very nice, I guess. Um, Phantom Shroud, or as Pasha Biceps would say, Phantom Shroud. Phantom Shroud. All right, knife out. Uh, I'm not a kind of box too much. Oh, so, so there's one, it comes in white and it comes in black. The box is pretty un unassuming. So okay, oh okay, so this, this is a modification that makes it look a bit different and allows you to swap it up a little bit, which is cool. Let's see. All right, so we got a shroud. Oh, okay, so you know how the Phantom is a, got a floating keycap design? This allows you to magnetically hook on this, which changes the aesthetic so it looks more like a, it looks a, a little bit like the old Black Widows or like a Cooler Master uh, old kind of keyboard. So basically we've got these angled sides and all that, so it makes it look a little bit more different and I think it changes the sound a bit because, you know, the sound waves now have to bounce inside before it reaches your ear. So I think it sounds a little bit different with it on. It snaps on very satisfyingly with magnets, which is absolutely brilliant. Who doesn't love magnets? Even Apple loves magnets. So it snaps on with magnets and give you this kind of... What I think this would be very good for is if you were a modder and uh, this makes it so easy to mod the mod the keyboard. I can take this out separately without any screws whatsoever. I can sand this down, I can spray paint it, and I can make it into a very fancy, particularly unique design that is just me and just mine, which you can't do if your keyboard's all, you know, fancy and stuff uh, and all that. So that is super interesting. And I'm guessing this one is just a different color. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this one's white. Yeah, okay, so this is the white one, and I personally like kind of the white aesthetic on my stuff, so. so 
let's just see how that looks on this keyboard. So this, all these accessories, by the way, are made by Techware, and you can buy them for the Techware Phantom keyboard. And they're just, you know, just make it's just options for you to, to to have a really easy time when it comes to customization. Yeah, that looks a lot better. If I get white keycaps or something on there, it will look perfect in my opinion. So might do that. I might ask Techware to let me keep one of these because I'm really am tempted to mod this to make it look all like fancy and stuff, uh, which will be sick. You know, I want to spray paint it, scrape it down and stuff, just fancy, fancy, fancy. Okay, pudding set. You know, they started making keycaps for easy customization. I got, I, I'm a big fan of nice keycaps myself. So as I'm saying, if you want an all white keyboard, you can now with this two pretty cheap accessories, a magnetic uh, keyboard shroud that you plot on top of your Phantom and then put some white keycaps and there you go, and there you have PVT double shot high quality white keycaps. Very, very nice. Get in there, just kind of easy customization. Uh, next up, this is supposed to be the pudding black. Ah, now this is the actual pudding keyboard. That is not a pudding keyboard. That was that was not a pudding keycap set. That was a uh, mislabeled, I guess. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is the actual pudding keyboard. And like pudding, so the thing about pudding keycaps is that the side, what it basically means is just that the side has this translucent material. It's not the same material true and true. It's not opaque on the sides. And this is excellent for RGB keyboards with a lot of bright RGB lights because the semi-translucent thing really softly diffuses the light from the key switch, which makes it look much better than, you know, a non pudding keycap that blocks out most of the light. Because if you're an RGB user, you want your key you want your keyboard's lights to really, really stand out. So it makes sense if you know you get a keyboard, a, a bunch of keycaps that allow more light to shine through. Because if you're paying for the lights, you might as well get some good looking keycap. You might as well get some keycaps that show off the lighting. And yeah. Okay, so how does the keycaps actually feel? So it's kind of smooth. It's a double shot PBT, which is a pretty <laughs> high end set of materials and components, which is awesome. Double shot, so the double shot basically means you've got two literal kind of different layers of material on here. So the printing doesn't never fade because uh, the printing is actually, um, the out, you see, for example, the out printing is actually not, it's not actually from ink or some sort of engraving. This printing right here is because it, this top layer has a hole in it and the white is coming through from the second material coming through from the bottom, which is very nice. So that's double shot. Double shot is pretty much the best. And in terms of the keycap thickness, it is PVT, which is nice and rigid, but it isn't the thickest keycaps, like the most solid keycaps, which is understandable. These are some budget PVT double shot keycaps, but hey, it's still double shot, it's still PVT, it's still pretty interestingly. So how does it how does it sound? Does it sound different? Answer is yes. Different materials sound different with key switches. You'll be surprised at the amount of sound changes, changing the back plate of your keyboard, changing the keycaps of the keyboard, lubing, changing the switches, uh, changing the springs will change the sound of one switch. So a lot of people say Cherry MX Browns, they feel crap, but if you put Cherry MX Browns and you lube them and you put them on like an actually good keyboard base instead of a cheap keyboard that Cherry MX Browns tend to come on, say a proper like um, maybe a proper custom PCB with a proper custom case, it can sound very nice and feel very nice. Uh, if you know what you're doing. So that's the thing about key switches that they are not the be all and end all in terms of sound and quality and feel. So you just have to be aware that there are a lot of variables at play. So here are the sound differences. I don't know if the mic can pick it up. So here is the uh, original Phantom switch. And this is the PVT switch. ABS. PBT. Not like you you might necessarily care about it, but it is there and it is something that some people do care about. So I'm just pointing it out and you might like these sounds. Now, if you want to hear full sound tests and stuff of these key switches, I will be doing a video on these uh, PBT double shot key switches that Techware made in particular, because why not do a video since I have these stuff. I will test them, I guess, uh, a slightly more extensively with sound tests of all these key switches in a special video. But so if you're interested in these key switches, make sure you subscribe to that.
you know, honestly, I should ask Taipei if they want to do a giveaway on my channel, because why not? It's Christmas, it's a new year, it's fun to give away stuff, I think it's awesome. So, let's to decide. Second, this is the third keycap set. Now, this one, it says it's a white and grey keycap set, so it looks a bit like a field coat set, which is very nice. I think, I think white and grey is a set that a lot of people would like. And it is white and grey. What a surprise. White and grey keycap set. White and grey keycap set. So we got white kind of main key keycaps and the kind of additional keys. The modifiers are mostly grey and they alternate in colours, which is pretty excellent if you ask me. This kind of aesthetic, I know a lot of people like that. The font is very nice. It, it is the same font as the one the, the actual Techwear Phantom uses. Very clean, simple font. As with the other sets so far, PBT, double shot, so high quality, uh, pretty high quality. It's, it's got the same thickness as well as the other switches. So I expect the sound differences between this and the normal Techwear switches, uh, Techwear keycaps, to be to be about the same in terms of the difference in sound. Uh, so it should be pretty nice. Once again, sound test, fancy video, all gonna be coming in another video. So make sure you subscribe for that. And what the beautiful thing about using these PBT keycaps from Techware themselves, designed specifically for the Phantom key, is that, is that, you know, with third party aftermarket keycaps, these kind of um, the legend on this keyboard so that tells you all the shortcuts and commands say you press function this you can skip to the next song function this to pause function this to change the volume and all that stuff function this to change rgb all this usually will be gone in an aftermarket keycap set because they're not going to put the legends on there because they don't know what keyboard you're using it because this these uh, keycaps are made by Techware for this specific keyboard. You can keep these legends, which is, I think, super convenient because, say, you're using this keyboard and you suddenly forget, oh no, how do I change the volume with my keyboard? Well, it's FN11 if you have legends, and if you don't have the if you don't have the legend on the keycaps, then you might forget and you have to go look at a manual, which is, frankly speaking, not the most e convenient thing out there, not the most uh, hassle. Pros and cons. Some people don't like it because it looks less clean, but yeah. So here we have a normal... Ow, I gotta cut myself, baby. Here we have a normal keycap set. This is just a full black PBT keycap. It's still double shot PBT. It's still fancy uh, in terms of its material. The printing is good. The font is the same, so there's nothing too particularly interesting here. It's literally just the original Techwear switches that it comes with, a uh, Techwear keycap that it comes with, just with different material and better printing, so it's gonna last longer. And it's not gonna get that glossy look from your finger oils that a lot of ABS keycaps tend to have after a while. So there's not, not much, not too much interesting things to show you in this particular keycap set. I, I would only really use this with a Techwear Phantom keyboard. But the thing is, a lot of people use Techware Phantom keyboards and a lot of people want to customize it, so this is a pretty interesting way to do it. And finally, we got the last keycap set that they sent, and this is the black and grey one. So this is like the white and grey one, just that instead of white, it's grey, and instead of black, instead of grey, it's black. So the, it's a unique pattern, and I think it looks really, really nice. I mean, in particular looks. Honestly, with a white trowel, this might look really good. Like, seriously, it might look pretty nice. Here's the white trowel. How do you think that looks? White and grey, or maybe we go with white and white key, key caps. I wanna like customize the keyboard, mess around with it, and do some interesting stuff so yeah so those are the keycap sets i think that is most i think that's most if not all of the keycaps that techwear sells for their phantom the so far is pretty impressive i mean it is pbt it is double shot it is pretty well built and uh, the material finish feels very good could be thicker but it's cheap so it's understandable and each of these keycap sets by the way comes with a nice keycap puller which is convenient as all hell as does the keyboard and we, we also checked out of course the keyboard shrouds as well so if you want to quickly swap the color and look and the style of keyboard that you have you can just snap this on magnetically like magic i love magnets you should love magnets too you can just snap this on no problem which is awesome and of course we checked out the techwear phantom keyboard that is a uh, um, that is slightly different to the techwear phantom se keyboard i reviewed 
couple of months back and that keyboard was pretty pretty good to me but this time we have Otemu red switches in here which is pretty interesting so that's that okay so that's it for this video ho 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 merry christmas you tech wear for gifting this keyboard to me hopefully um I kind of want to mod these shrouds and stuff to make like a very nice custom keyboard but uh, that will be that might be in the works so in terms of the content that you're going to see from here on about these stuff uh, I will definitely be testing out these switches I mean these keycaps in terms of uh, full-on in-depth stuff with type tests and stuff so if you want to see that in action make sure you subscribe and in terms of modding this keyboard I'm very tempted to take one of these shrouds and mod this keyboard to make it look super custom and super fancy. You know how I do, I love modding my stuff. So that's all that stuff that, that is here. Thank you so much to Techway for sending all this stuff over and thank you so much to you for watching this video until this point. Now, once again, quick reminder, if you want to win this gaming mouse, the Jiwoo Stardust Hearty HDS Edition, make sure you hit the like video, uh, make sure you like the video that I reviewed this gaming mouse. It's gonna be linked in the description. Once that hit 35 likes, I will start the giveaway for it and then you might have a chance to win a little Merry Christmas gift for yourself for free because why not? That sounds a little bit of fun. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you tomorrow or the day after or the day after that. I've been uploading pretty consistently so make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you support this channel by liking my videos, commenting my videos and if you have any questions to ask, link details in the description. Anyway, goodbye. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, so, goodbye.